since the ios 14 update there has been a lot of issues with targeting the right audience on the facebook and instagram platform okay so in this video i'm going to share with you four audiences that you should be targeting with your adverts now over time and from testing this audiences has proven to give in pretty good results right from my ads personally and the one i've created for clients these audiences have proven to give pretty good results so i'm going to share these four audiences with you and you can start testing them out in your business start using them for yourself and for your clients and see which of them gives you the best results and then double down on it okay my name is courage and you are welcome to my channel if you find this video helpful in any way please make sure you like the video right and also leave a comment leave a question if you have any i will answer you also share the video with people you know will find it helpful so without wasting time let's get started now for the first audience I would always suggest that you try the broad audience. People do not always go this route. People don't, people don't even know about the broad audience targeting. Okay. And now the broad audience targeting works better or it works best for businesses or for products rather for products that are, um, that are pretty much open to everyone. Okay. For the broad audience, it, it works for products that are pretty much open to everyone. For instance, when you are speaking with some clients or some customers and then you ask them who is your product for, they can tell you that pretty much anyone can use these products, right? Of course, there are specific people in mind that can use the product, but it is not limited to those set of people only. Pretty much anyone can just pick up the product and you find it very useful, okay? So for instance, if you are selling, if you are selling product like a blender, a very affordable blender, I mean, pretty much anyone can pick it up. Everyone has a kitchen in their homes. You know, people have, people have needs to use these products. Okay. So for products like this, you need to leave your audience broad and then you let the Facebook algorithm, the AI do its work. This Facebook tool is smart in identifying people who are most likely to buy this product. Or if you're selling products like the mosquito killer, the one they plug on the wall, the socket, the, the one they plug in the wall socket. So these things are what anyone can, can buy and use in their home, right? So what you do is when you get to this point of the audience section here, you simply select the location that you want to target. So you are working in this broad section, we work with location, age, and gender. That's all. You come here, select your location. If, if you are targeting the whole of Nigeria, if you are targeting the whole of USA, United States, the UK, the Canada, Australia, Ghana, South Africa, wherever you are, you can target your own location. For instance, I'm in Nigeria, all right? And I don't want to target the whole of Nigeria. I want to target just Lagos states within Nigeria because I have the capacity to deliver efficiently within Lagos. So I can just target only those in Lagos. Okay, so I will choose the city here. So my targeting is for those in Lagos, within 25 mile radius of my location, of Lagos. If I find this um, too much, I can reduce it from 25 mile radius to probably um, uh, 15. So it is contained. I know that I'm targeting a particular neighborhood within Lagos, inside of Nigeria. All right. And then for the age bracket, who are the people, what age bracket? Do, does your ideal customer or ideal client fall under are they within the age of 18 to 65 or are they within the age of 30 to 35 to 40 or 25 to 35 so you can come here and edit the age right just select the right age for the people who are ideally your target so you can say between 25 years of age to say about um 40 or thereabout okay so people within 25 years of age are to 40 the gender is this is your product gender specific or is it something that all genders can, can buy all right so it depends on what you sell so if it is open to all genders you leave your gen you leave your gender at all genders but if it is gender specific then you select which of the genders either male or female that your product appealed to once you have done that then at this interest targeting 
uh, space, you leave it that way. Facebook will now, in their own wisdom, the platform will search and show your advert to people who are most likely to buy because they know these people. You have left it open. Let the platform do its work. All right? That is for broad targeting. For products that has a mass appeal, that has an open market, anyone can buy it. It is not, it is not a niche specific. It is not niche specific. Anyone can just walk in, need this product, buy it and find it useful. That is for the first interest targeting. All right? So always have that in mind. Now for the second interest targeting, for the second one that we're going to use, um, the second interest that you should be targeting is the one that we call stack up interests, stack up interests. This works best when you have a product that is niche specific, a product that belongs to a particular class of people. For instance, if you sell any product that is for car users only, Or if you sell a product that is for Toyota users only, Toyota car users only. Now you know that this product is not for everyone. It is specifically for people who use cars and not just any kind of car, but Toyota cars. So in this case, you come to the, you have selected your gender, your location, your age and whatever. Then you come here and you start putting in the niche specific, probably it is for Camry, but then since it's for Toyota users, you can select Toyota Camry. Uh, you can select Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla here. Um, I think you can also select just Toyota. Yes, Toyota, this is Toyota. Then Toyota Helos, Toyota Rona, Forerunner, Toyota Land Cruiser 4, right? So you stack up these interests. You stack up this interest. This gives Facebook enough data to work with and it gives them enough audience to work with to be able to deliver your ad to the best possible people who are most likely to buy from you. All right? So you can stack different interests. You can stack up to within three to five different interests. Or you can stack more than that, up to five, up to seven different interests. But similar interests, not interests that are um, very, very diverse. No, similar, very similar interests. We are now within the, we are now within Toyota. For instance, if you have a product that appeals to cars, to car owners, people who drive different kinds of cars, you can now begin to use interests that also appeal to just car owners. In that, in that sense, it is not any particular car, right? So you can target Toyota, target Honda, target Mercedes, target BMW, and then also target Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, Mercedes CL, Mercedes GLK, Mercedes that, that, BMW X6, you know, these are under cars. They are niche specific. So you can stack up to five, six, even to 10. But I don't do 10. I just do within five to seven. Stack these things up or three to five different interest audiences, in interest audiences between, within, the, within a specific niche. So when you are stacking these very similar audiences, it gives Facebook... Um, it gives them a, an idea of the people who this advert is meant for and it also gives them an option of an open open niche specific audience to deliver your advert to so you think about the product you are selling is it niche specific what are the similar interests within that very niche that this advert should be delivered to you stack it up all right you stack it up it makes it easier for Facebook to deliver this advert to the right kind of people who are most likely to buy your, to buy your product or to patronize your service. So the third interest group that you should be targeting are the look-alike audiences. The look-alike audiences. These are people who look very similar, who are very similar to either your 
your customers or your warm audience. But then it is always best to use the super lookalikes. When you are targeting your lookalike audiences, use the super lookalikes. Now, this can be used only by those who have a website. It can be used only by those who have a website. For small businesses that do not have a website, you can also use lookalike audiences, but um, you're not, you not, you not going to be able to use the super lookalikes. All right. But for those who have a website, you can use the super lookalikes in the sense that you are going to target those similar to people who have taken a specific action on your website. For instance, you can create a lookalike audience of people who have add, who have done the add to cut up uh, action on your website. You can target the lookalike audience of those who have initiated checkout on your website. Okay, so you are not, you are not targeting the lookalike of people who have visited your website. No, those ones are quite broad and not not super. But for people who have gone ahead to take a specific action, like add to cart, like add payment info, like initiate checkout, like those who have even gone ahead to purchase. So these are the ones that are known as super lookalikes. When you create a custom audience. And then you create a lookalike audience of this custom audience. They are known as super lookalikes. You can target them and you are going to get amazing results from this set of audience. Now, for those who do not have a website, for small businesses that just do, do business on Instagram and Facebook, you don't have a website yet, that's fine. You can also create a lookalike of people who have engaged with your business and people who have engaged with your videos they have watched your videos for more than 50 percent not just 15 for more than 50 percent yes not just 15 percent not just a few seconds no you need to create a look alike of people who have watched at least 50 percent of your video all right and then when you are creating this kind of look alike you should always ensure that it is just within one two three percent of the lookalike because the broader or the higher the lookalike the lesser the similarities they have with your with your customers or with your engagers so when you're creating a lookalike audience leave it within one percent to three percent so that the similarity will be very very high okay so remember the third one is to create to have it to target your super lookalikes for people who have a website and for those who do not have a website you could just target the lookalikes of people who have engaged with your activities like sent you a dm on instagram commented on your posts and then um, of course watched at least 50 percent of your video then for the final audience that you should be targeting is the custom audience custom audience i mean these are people who already know you they know you they they have done business with you they are comfortable with you they know your brand very well you are not new to them you're not trying to introduce your brand to them all right so these people you sell to them with an offer because they know you already you create an amazing offer you put it in front of them so you simply go and create your custom audiences or your lookalike audiences and then you begin to target these people all right now these things are not difficult to create at all you simply go to your audience section okay like create new audience here for custom audiences here look at it here so it says you come here you create new so you create a custom audience and from the custom audience you create a lookalike audience and then you target this set of people and i assure you if you do it correctly you are going to see amazing results in the past couple of months we have seen great results by targeting broad then using the stacked interest targets we target broad for products that are not um, particularly niche specific we target broad for products that are very open to the market and anyone can actually find benefit from using the products all right and then for products that are niche specific we use stacked interests stack up to probably within three to five different interests similar interests so that facebook has enough data to work with and then they will show your advert to people most likely to buy what you sell and then for the third one you target super lookalikes that is for people who have taken specific actions on your website. All right. 
and then for the fourth one you target your custom audiences these are your hot and your warm audiences you always show them an offer that they are most they are going to love and they are going to buy if you begin to implement this and target these different audiences on your advert i assure you you are going to see amazing results in your facebook adverts okay now those are the four audiences that you should start testing out now and always remember that it is not just about the audience you are targeting but mostly about your creative about your copy and about the positioning of your brand and the positioning of the product you are trying to sell don't just dwell on the targeting alone the targeting is just just makes up a little percentage of the success of your advert most of the advert sources comes from your ad creative work more on it work more on your offer and you are going to make amazing 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 sales thank you for watching this video please make sure you like this video make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions feel free to ask and i'll be happy to answer you all right and of course share this video with anyone you know will find it helpful i'll see you in my next video cheers